Cobra. Uh, won't know for another few seconds here. There is a chance they would change it off, and they do. That is a Soldier 76, and we do have a Mirror Comp here. It's pretty much what we expect right now. The three tank meta is just so strong. I mean, you go through each one. Diva with a proper Ana is borderline invincible. How can you ever really, really justify not having a Soldier 76 with so many tanks on the map, and especially given how strong he is? But right now, both teams meeting for the first time in the round of four. We take a look, Complexity coming off the high ground. Kungarna content to just coming through. The middle charge right off the bat is gonna take JKW down as Baby Bay finishes him off with that damage. But Nicholas is going to get the return frag, so both Reinhardt's out of the fight here, and it's a 5v5 as they scrap it out on the point. Hook coming across, and Connor is able to take down Torque. And now that will be a one pick advantage in favor of Kingarna, but regardless, Complexity is able to actually gain control of this point first as Baby Pig gets put to sleep, and now they're continuing to scrap on the point here. Joe Meister actually finishing off Baby Bay, but it's still a brawl for this point right here, and you have a lot of ultimates up on the side of Kingarna who is going to be able to retain control of this point. Uh, right there, looked like Kungarna had a better read on the situation overall. Complexity did get the first cap, but they surrendered a lot of positions that let Kungarna pick off a number of players, and now it's going to be an uphill battle. This map in particular of Ilios is one of the hardest ones to get out of spawn. There's so many hard chokes here. There's two, two ultimates already on the side of Kungarna, and it is an uphill battle for Complexity at this point. You have three ultimates up for Kingarna, Whole Hog, and you also have Nano Boost and Earth Shatter, but they're going to lose one. Connor J goes down. Tac Pfizer out from Torque gets shut down, though. That's a couple of a couple of frags apiece, and the sound barrier also comes out from Joe Meister to try and give a little extra gusto to retain this point. And it, they are starting to get the time down, but the players from Kingarna coming back in. Nano Boost off onto JKW as he starts swinging away, and Baby Bay is able to find Shake on the point. Both. Uh, actually, Joe Meister getting the return pick there, so still complexity standing on it, and it's just back and forth. The Earth Shatter comes out into the mech detonation, and Nicholas is going to go down, but and JKW finishes off Remix, so Great. it's still battling out. Still battling out indeed. Axel staying alive on the point against three members for Complexity. He's going to go down here in a second. Now, I was going to shout out to JKW for a fantastic Reinhardt play so far, shutting down a Soldier 76 ult with his Earth Shatter. Then getting Nano Boosted after that, I was questioning it first, but he generated a second ultimate, a second Earth Shatter so quickly, I think. I'm curious. I'd have to ask him. I mean, I'm not a pro, obviously. Yeah, well, uh, otherwise, I'd be on the other side of this computer right now. <laughs> but complexity yeah. getting two Earth Shatters out real quickly. I'm wondering if that is the, the importance, uh, the why they put the Nano Boost with it. We'll hook right away onto Hard Blue. Pulls him in. The, he's going to pull out that whole hog as well. Sound Barrier out from Ajax as Kingarna goes back in for the point. They already got that pick. Hard Blue is going to go down. And the counter Sound Barrier out from Joe Meister. The, Mech suit came through, but nobody was home. Actually, it was placed on top of the point, so nobody around to take that one. And the nano visor comes out onto Baby Bay, and he's actually able to find a couple with that as well. And it looks like Kingarna is getting the picks that they need, and they will be able to take back this point. So far, back and forth here on Lighthouse. For complexity, Shake is very close to a nano boost. Hard Blue already has a whole hog. That combination is going to be vicious to try and take this back. Meanwhile, Kungarna's pretty much burned everything they had in order to take that back with only a D.Va getting very close here. And here comes complexity. A hog out from Hard Blue as Nicholas goes forward, but he's actually going to get hooked in and finished off by Connor J yet again. That's twice in a row now, and Connor J is going to get yet another hook. Takes down Hard Blue. That's two big picks for Connor J. I Remix and Baby Bay both finding a couple. Kungarna looking good here. And they've gotten all the picks that they need. Nobody from Complexity is home to try and stop this point. Kungarna taking the first round in this best of three. Well, they didn't catch the first cap on the point, but they came back strong after that. Uh, definitely some great play coming out of Elio. So here we go. It is stage two. We're going to be on to ruins. See, as far as team comps, don't as of yet. No see, changes. Yeah, no, no reason to change on these maps right now. Here. Especially on Kungarna's side. General common sense. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So far, they're making better use of this comp against Complexity. Complexity holding both sides on the outside here of Ruins. And Lucio getting pulled in. Oh, it's a big hook in from Hard Blue off the start. That should automatically give them, I would say, uh, this first point. But maybe not yet. 
Uh, Joe Meister able to take down Connor J. So uh, things are looking pretty good for complexity as Michael gets finished off. Hard Blue finding yet another one that is definitely going the point that is is going to go over to complexity here first, starting off with that big pick from Hard Blue. Yeah, Kungarna recognizing that that was they were fighting an uphill battle there. Most of them just jumped right off the cliff to get that team fight reset. They're going to come back into Complexity, who has built roughly 70% on more than three of their ults. Looks like four. Meanwhile, Kungarna back, putting on direct point pressure. All right, here we go. They are already on it. Charge is going to come in for Remix. He's got that Biotic Grenade on him. Earth Shatter out as well. JKW is going to get caught in that. He goes down. Baby Bay able to find two. Connor J grabbing JKW in the middle of that. And a lot of picks over towards Kungarna here. They will Stay get this point way. back. Right back on the next fight, and uh, well done by them. Awesome. Absolutely oppressive play by Baby Bay. Just a one-man army. I mean, it's cliche with Soldier 76, but here we go. Another clip watching this. Attack Visor coming out, picking off everyone in the back line, putting on that uh, pressure on support. Joe Meister going down quickly. And that's pretty much uh, all a soldier needs to do to really open everything up, but he is a tank buster on his own on top of that. Here we go. The uh, nano boost is going. To come out from Shake onto Torque, and he's able to find Connor J. JKW gets remix, and now that's two in favor of Complexity. The Mech Bomb is going to come out as well. Michael finds two with that landing touchdown right onto the point. JKW Hard Blue were the victims of that destruction, and they are still scrapping it out here for the time being. It is going to be Kangarna in control of it. Complexity is trying to make their stand here. Kangarna waiting for those respawns to come through. They're both just tap capping the point here, edging it, seeing. But another tag no. Pfizer coming out of Baby Bay, not getting the same kind of uh, dividends that he got on the first one. No, nothing on that one. And we do have Connor J with the whole hog. JKW and Hard Blue both have their ultimates, including Nicholas. A lot of ultimates on the side of Complexity. All oh, the Earth Shatter into a Mech Bomb. That was coming out, but uh, actually, excuse me, no mech bomb, but uh, wasn't able to find anything. So Nicholas uh, gets one and now just spraying from across the way is Torque. And he's actually able to find Connor J there. And now a, another nano visor out from Torque, and he's actually able to find three picks. Nicholas got remixed, but still, star of that one, Torque, a great nano visor. And that will give Complexity control this point. Again, they're behind, but definitely not out yet. Both TJOs, Nicholas and Torque, getting the vast majority of the kills there for Complexity. And Ana to lead everything off out of uh, Nicholas. And then obviously we saw there the stim tack, as I like to call it, the nano boosted. Soldier 76 cleaning up everybody else. Baby Bay has his own answer, though. Hard <laughs> Blue shooting Connor J up into the air with his whole hog, the Harp Hog. In fact, he was able to get remix there, but that will keep complexity on the point, and they will have some defenses coming through. I mean, Joe Meister's got the got the sound barrier. JKW with an Earth Shatter as well, but coming in from Kangarna, they're going to have a Tac Visor Nano Boost and the self-destruct. Complexity does have a comfortable amount of time to uh, create this assault here, but as soon as this one is over, this is going to be the last push. A nano boost attack visor coming out right now. He's going to be shooting away. The sound barrier did come out. Connor J, Baby Bay, both able to find one here. That is big. Two picks, three in their favor already. Torque was able to get Ajax. It's a big pick on the support, but it doesn't matter. Kangarna is still all over them like a new pair of shoes on this point. There's no chance. They are going to get this one back just as complexity hit 99%, and they will have one last shot to get in here, but they got to do it quick. Kungarna playing forward, trying to delay 5% left. Complexity absolutely has to get on point right now. Joe Messer goes down in Baby Bay, cleaning up everybody, trying to turn this into overtime. An absolutely stellar performance coming out of Baby Bay's Soldier 76, the backbone of their DPS. He is the only DPS, but he was definitely living up to his name. Wow, enemy. Sure. So that can extend directly over whoever you want it to. D.Va can fly directly into their paths as well. So a strong dive comp coming out of Kungarna here. Uh, from what I understand, this is a pretty common thing here on Hollywood as of late. So, uh, they're going to come in. Yeah, they got the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, uh, the nano or the biotic grenade. That's what it's called. Hey, I know what I'm doing. Biotic grenade. And look at this. They actually have Baby Bay who is playing Tracer, which can be really strong on this first point and throughout the map, at least for the first 
two phases, but here they go, getting in as Michael's able to find hard blue in the back. That was another biotic grenade that uh, landed actually on Michael. And way in the back there, but Connor J is able to finish off Torque. And look at this, the dive comp working well. Can Garna already three picks in their favor? They are looking good for this first point. Got to finish off JKW if they can. If they can, he's going to charge in actually, but gets finished off by Blam. And look at this, man. They are just all over them. First point. And they are going to be able to cap this first push. That's how it's done right there. I mean, we saw Connor J on his Genji directly in the center of the entirety of complexity at that point, uh, being simultaneously covered by what I like to call the Venn diagram of Winston, uh, the the uh, shield matrix from D.Va. That was just a complete chaotic ball there on the second floor of the first point of Hollywood. Now we're into the push of the card here. No changes coming out Nano, of Kung Garna. Nano boost into Dragon Blade, and it's going to be Connor J all over him. He's able to find one, takes down JKW. That was just about it, though. Joe Meister finished him off, but they're still pushing the card here. There was a lot of there was a lot of chaos over on on the right-hand side, but they meanwhile, they were just pushing that card along, and they found a lot of picks in their favor. Actually, Ajax, Ajax, uh, was was getting two of those some big uh, big lucio clean up there so There's a lot of moment momentum for kungarna right now they're looking hard to stop but right now complexity with four almost five ultimates in their collection here starting off with a diva bomb and we're getting into a full team fight oh here we go we got the uh, nano visor out onto torque because he's looking to wreak havoc he's got a pretty open field for it but no getting shut down by that defense matrix of michael his complexity that are up a few picks. Baby Bay was able to get hard blue, but still, it's still scrapping it out on the point here. Complexity is going to be looking a bit better to hold this one off, though. Their respawn is closer, and they got more picks in their favor coming through, just cleaning house. So, getting a, a good defense there, finally stopping a little bit of that momentum. Yeah, the snowball maybe you could say has halted at this point. Complexity did have to drop a lot of their ultimates yeah, in order did. to stop that. Three, four. Meanwhile, Kungarna very close to a nano boost. Just over halfway to a whole hog. So it's going to have to be either be uh, just kind of your regular pick situation in order to open this up for Kungarna. They are taking the high ground. That should provide them some of the angles that they need to try and get this done. JKW positioning really well. And a nano boost to D.Va coming into the back line. He also has self-destruct ready if needed, and here we go. Michael is just doing work. That self-destruct did come through from Nicholas, finds Ajax with it, but still Michael got two picks for Kagarna, and they're looking pretty solid here. They do have a one-pick advantage, self it's all self-destruct there. Michael getting a couple extra. It's looking good. Kangarna is going to grab the second point, and they also have a couple of ultimates to work with moving forward. They got uh, they got the whole hog as well as a mech bomb, but uh, hard blue finishing off Connor J. So a couple ultimates up on the side of complexity. They've got the tack visor and whole hog in the hands of hard blue. And look at this, Nicholas switching over to the May. Ah, uh, that is interesting on its own. May. Well, we'll see how it works out here. Both teams meeting in the middle again. Another whole hog coming out of Harblue. He's sitting behind JKW shield, just letting that thing Attack fire visor. away. And uh, I guess the attack visor didn't come out there from uh, Torque. Remix is actually able to get JKW Earth Shatter out. That is a big Earth Shatter. And oh goodness, they are just demolishing them there as they come through. Big Earth Shatter. Everybody from the rest of Kangarna able to come through, clean up. They are. Still looking good here. Three minutes and 20 seconds left, but they are pushing steadily, and they still have a lot of ultimates out here from Kangarna. Oh, have... We'll talk about how they set that up at the end of this game because it looks like it's going to be way too fast moving to talk about it right now. May trying to block it. Diva Bomb coming in. Uh, here we go. Bomb out, but not going to find all that much. Earth Shatter did come through from JKW. It's going to allow them to at least pick up a couple, but still Kangarna returns with a few of their own, and now it's just trying to clean up on the scraps here. Michael continuing to push into that back line, maybe giving Torque a bit of run for his money as he gets slept. Blam, not, not oh, the best of health. He actually did manage to stay alive on the other side of the camper, and they're still scrapping it out here. But Kangarna is going to have to get two solid 
wipes on these guys because the spree spawn so close from complexity. But look at this now, the blizzard coming through from Nicholas. Everybody's going to get frozen here, and that's going to be good, though. The mech bomb coming out. Everybody able to return to safety and not get caught in the middle of that as they continue to scrap it out here. Connor J actually switched over to Tracer. He cleans up on two of them. Kangarna still all over this point. Complexity can't hold him off, and they cap it off with two minutes and 21 seconds remaining. Whew. The last point, Tracer, is always a powerful thing. Tracer is, is hard to deal with in general, but when you're not expecting her to come out and she shows up on your doorstep, uh, you're able to keep him protected. His right click is out of this world. The turret is a problem on its own, but for pros, not not usually as big of a deal. In this instance, uh, I wanted to point out, I would believe that the only reason that Zenyatta is, is a kind of a feasible pick here at the moment for complexity is the fact that Sombra can actually hack that health pack to su su supplement the heals per second that they need to make this actually work. Ooh, Hard Blue getting hooked in right away by Connor J. Shut down. Hard Blue couldn't connect on the hook himself and Connor J all over it yet again, so. We've seen that uh, on Ilios as well. Every single time Hard Blue gets counter pulled by Connor J, he goes down. The name of the game here for complexity is to just honestly take some damage, go, because tort has got that big health pack hacked over uh, outside. So it's 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 just a matter of take some damage, go over, get that health back. You charge Sombra ultimate so quickly, and that's why I, I think it can be really strong is because you can get your ultimate up so fast, get in and use that EMP, and just have your guys run forward. You don't even need other ultimates, and it looks like they now are starting to come through the alley side as Torque is getting close to his ultimate. As uh, the turret goes down, JKW is able to get that. Gets Connor J as well. That's a big opening. EMP comes out from Complexity, and well, they, they lost three so far, and they were only able to get two onto Kangarna, so things not looking the best for them, but still doable. Never mind. Baby Bay and Ajax cleaning up. And EMP, just not enough. Zenyatta at 50%, only 50% so far. That was a pretty long, long fight to only have half of an ultimate on a healer at the moment. Meanwhile, Ajax, 97%. Watch out for that Molten Core. He's going to drop any second now and complexity coming in for their second attempt. No must, no fuss. They're coming straight in the front door this time. Oh, they're going to have to get moving. Still minute, two minutes and 15. Hard Blue getting hooked again, again, though. He was off by himself, though. He was all the way pushed forward. JKW wasn't up there with him. None of the rest of the team, I think he was expecting him to move forward. But I mean, he could have just been standing behind his Reinhardt shield. But he was off by himself. He got hooked. And that is a big player to lose. They're going to have to slow things down until they get Hard Blue back before they can really make a coherent push. And so far, they haven't really been able to deal all that much with the, they have that turret that's just sitting on top of the elevator. At least it was. But I think you're right on the money with the coherent push comment. So far, complexity not seeming super, comp, uh, super cohesive right now. They are on point. Connor J and Remix, the only two there to counter it. Zenyatta dropping Transcendence. Oh, a little bit too late, though. Nicholas went down as the attack visor uh, came out on the earth. Just Baby Bay was able to clean up, and now it looks like Kingarna, a couple picks on each side. Complexity actually has a lot of ultimates to work with here, but they lost JKW. He's not going to be up on the fight. For now, Kingarna is going to have control of the point, but you have five ultimates for Complexity. Three on the side of Kingarna, but five for Complexity. If they can't get this next push, that is going to be very bad news. I legitimately wonder how many ultimates do you need, with the exception of maybe an Earth Shatter, to actually counter a proper Molten Gore. Here we go, just gonna jump on in, EMP, Earth Shatter comes out as well. Oh, goodness. No, Ajax uh, used his Molten Core, he's able to get Hard Blue. Nicholas is gonna get two of his own, though, with Attack Visor. Maybe Bay strikes back with one, but still, complexity looking a bit more solid now as Torque finishes off Ajax. Baby Bay's up top by himself, but Torque is doing work right now, cleaning up on all that damage. And finally, Complexity is able to get this point, but man, they had to invest so much into that to take that first point. That is true. They only have one ultimate left. It is Whole Hog for Harblue. Meanwhile, a similar situation, actually, for Kungarna on the other side. If this comes down to a head-to-head -head fight so far, just from the team skill, not dropping any sort of ultimates, Kungarna has had a lead, but we've seen Hollywood run away very, very quickly. As long as you get through that first point, the last point is not out of reach. Doesn't matter how much time you have. Yeah, we're going to see another fight getting hooked in. 
was remixed and actually getting finished off by Torque as now Michael trying to soak up some of uh, that damage coming through. But Complexity able to get a couple of picks and they'll keep this cart moving nice and steady. Nicholas actually able to finish off Michael a bit late there. So it's going to be tough for Kangarna to hold this. they got to get everybody back up. Actually, Baby Bay getting finished off in the end. That's that's not good news. Losing guys that late in the fight, they're going to have to wait for him to spawn and then try and get everyone together. I don't know if they're going to have one last shot to hold Kungarna, it in a sec. Kungarna definitely staggered. Yeah. Uh, whether they're actually going to make that attempt is going to be obvious here in a second. It looks like they are willing to risk it. That could be a huge stop if they can get it off. Baby Bay with the attack visor out, the nano visor. Nonetheless, two picks for him coming back out. Well done, EMP goes off. Doesn't matter though, Baby Bay in the back, firing away completely uncontested, just dealing tons of damage. And Kangarna is gonna hold on there. Great repush out after they got staggered and about a minute 10 or minute 15 left for Complexity. Wow, whatever you can say about Kungarna, they are not scared. Every single time I've seen them so far in one of those questionable situations, should we hold this ult? Should we try and challenge that? Should we play the better attrition long game? They just go all in and they keep coming out on top. They're starting to work their way back in. Complexity's gotta make this work. They have a sound barrier to go with. They're actually coming through. On the other side, the mech bomb coming in. Michael finds three. Absolute touchdown of a mech bomb from Kangarna. Connor J finishing off Nicholas. That is going to make things difficult for Complexity. They'll have one more push, really, to try and get the second point. If not, Kangarna's moving in to the finals. Might have been a good idea to toy with Nicholas for a little bit longer just to keep him as staggered as possible. With only 30 seconds left on the clock, it's already going to be a nail biter for Complexity. They have one chance left to stay in this game. They go, they're moving their way up. 20 seconds it is. They have a sound barrier and a attack visor ready to go. Speed boosting in. And now the attack visor going off from Nicholas. Hart Blue's able to open things up, taking down Blam. That's a big initial pick. Sound barrier out. Now as well as Torque is able to pick up that kill onto Baby Bay. Things looking really good for Complexity to be able to pick up this second point now as they are just scrapping it out. And in the nick of time, Complexity able to hold on. Still, they got a lot of work to do and not a lot of time to do it, but good resiliency from them to be able to get that second point. Always interesting to see a team fight where both Reinhardts get taken off into a corner and just have a 1v1. See what develops after that. Complexity barely staying alive here. It's do or die time right now. Do or die time indeed. A minute and 10 seconds left. Even if they get the last point, is gonna have a solid chunk more time to work with than them, but whole hog out from hard blue, not finding much value off of that so far. You have three ultimates to work with to rock and roll on Kingarna. Here comes the transcendence out from Shake to try and mitigate this damage, but he is able to as complexity gets a few picks back in their favor. Indeed, looking good for them right now. They'll continue to push this forward. Kingarna though is going to have three, four, actually four, almost five ultimates to come back and take another fight with them. And if they time it correctly, they could finish the game. Oh, there's 30 seconds left on the clock. They can undoubtedly create one O fight here. It's all about the timing of when to drop those ults. And with literally six on the table, 4% for iRemix, this is looking very good for Kungarna. Go, this is gonna be most likely the last fight here. Has a lot of ultimates being expelled from Kungarna. Mech Bomb comes out, not going to find anything. You have the attack visor in the back from Baby Bay as well. They really didn't find much of anything. Earthshatter comes out just as Nicholas started to use his attack visor. That is great. Look at this. Kingarda getting so many picks. All of complexity wipe. Kingarda is going to take it. Moving into the finals. Yet another upset. Can you believe it? Kingarda, the underdogs moving into the finals. That is just, that is unreal, man. That's what